Marvel's very own Black Widow, Florence Pugh, put up a video on Instagram. It's like two and a half, three minutes of her coming out of her trailer, walking on the set of Thunderbolts. But everything is, of course, behind like the fake walls that they put up. You know, the, the sets are closed, obviously. She yeah, it's the other the side of the set. It's exactly. The, the, that holds it up. Right. right. And it's like, people are like, oh my God, she leaked this. It's like, no, no, no. This was intended, and Marvel Studios also shared it all over their socials. Yeah. Like, th- this was, it, it's a weird, it, it's weird because Marvel never does this. And now uh, suddenly, like, no. what? Yeah. yeah, I'm just surprised that people want something like a leak when it's all, no, it's, it's official. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I just like to acknowledge the I don't think people have really picked up on this the name change of the movie. There was a name change of the movie. Yeah, yeah. If you if you look at the director's chair and if you look at how they spell Thunderbolts uh-huh. on their socials, there is a huh. slight name change. Oh, huh. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a Those joke. I don't know. It's now Thunderbolts asterisk. Oh, I thought that was oh. a joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, they put it in the tweets. Because yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. yeah. like at first I was like, Wait, they didn't change anything. It's Thunderbolts. As I, I was going to say, like, I didn't know if the asterisk was actually a part of it, but now yeah, I'm also seeing Marvel name, Studios yeah. do it as well. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> so make sense. The movie now. Uh, it's I, obviously because the Thunderbolts name is a placeholder in the movie, right? It's being a bit meta with the whole thing. Mm, mm. It's. I wonder. You wait, they're going to reveal it to be like the Dark Avengers or some crap like that. No, they're going to go that way with it. The, I mean, also, like, if what's weird about this it's like this was all carefully orchestrated i wouldn't be surprised if they shot the same video like four times to make sure nothing they don't want in this gets in right because oh, yeah, you can tell jack's sitting there like i'm tired of doing this uh-huh like, can we get yeah this? yeah <laughs> and like <laughs> having Florence pew do this right after dune part two just came out she's everywhere again very intelligent yeah. like this was a very well put together reveal for this and make no mistake about it, this is a reveal because I saw a bunch of my friends all sharing and be like, Marvel's making another movie? I'm like, oh my god, you dumb people. But, <laughs> movie studio makes movie. Yeah. It's, it yeah. And, you know, funny enough, not much is known about it. And again, I'm talking about the casuals. Like, I saw a couple of my, you know, casual friends share this, and one of them was like, is Thunderbolts like a hint that Thor is in this because the thunder. I'm like, oh, geez, God, like my brain was nice, starting to melt. Nice, I'm like, so nice. this is the, you know, that's the target demographic that they're going for. The person that's going to watch it and that's going to watch whatever's on Disney Plus, but that's not really tuned into everything. Right. So I, I like this and I like what they sort of are leaning into that it gives me hope that maybe they learned something from Ryan Reynolds. And his production company doing this with Deadpool every single time. That it's like, no, this yeah, is a fun yeah. way to get the conversation going. So yeah, it's, it's cheap yeah. Exactly. Like we're not gonna see anything for this film probably till D23. I'll be real with you. Like uh, you know, official stuff. Yeah, because I don't see them doing SDC. So no. Uh, I'm I'm fine with them leaving it until D23. Yeah. Same, same, same. Well, hold up. I'm gonna let me pull out this damn. Or, oh, I didn't even mark it on here, but isn't the film coming out like November? No, it's like July of next year or something. Like something it's, like it's far yeah. off. Yeah. Hmm. I think well, it's I'm... July next year. I don't know. I I lost track of the dates because I stopped caring about how they're changing every day, every week. Oh no! Like right, it was they bumped it because it was supposed to be July. And now it's May second of next year, and Captain America is in that early part which is like oh wow february yeah so it's i mean it'll change let's let's be honest (laughs) they're not gonna stay there they will come out when they come out just Uh, that too and if this comes out in may this means that this is marvel's technically biggest film because they put out whatever they think is the money maker in may to june yeah like wow um a lot of i guess different changes behind this which i'm okay with all of it like just Get this thing out. Get people excited. Surprisingly, most of the comments I saw in replies were all positive, which really shocked me because, you know, Marvel dead. That's majority of the comments always. So, mm. yes, yeah, that's, that's 
kind of surprising. You usually get the like, oh, who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. That's just the power of Florence Pugh, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, clearly, it's, just, mm. it's it is what it is. Which who's all in green? I find that interesting. Yeah, but I find it very interesting. I do love green that they green. give her short hair. I was like, come on, I'm in the camp. It's like do, do the short hair. I like that look on her more. Has she always had short hair in this? Or, or did she have long hair in Hawkeye? No, she was. Oh, there was long hair in Hawkeye. Huh. Yeah. So it's probably just Flourish Pew. She's like, no. Keep yeah. Sure. She's like, I've made enough money and I have a new contract and I am not putting on a wig for, you know, every I single bet you. Day. It, I, I'm, I, I would not be surprised if it is a wig even now. Because the uh, last time I saw Florence, I say, yes, the last time I saw Florence Pew, the last I saw of her out in like, out in the world that wasn't on a movie set, she had a buzz cut pink hair. Mm. Cause she was at Silverstone for the F1 last year. Yeah. And obviously hair grows a fairly decent speed. Right. Over the course of a year. So maybe it's natural. I just don't know. recently I just watching like the Dune press tour. I'm pretty sure she's got the short hair. I can't be right on that. Maybe I blanked. I don't I don't know. I could be wrong, but I like it. I like what's I say, when, when people change their hair like that that much so uh, it's still a point keeping up yeah yeah now i do want to talk about this what do you make of the team teases because i'm still on the fence of this team blows <laughs> it's i don't like it i feel like that's the point it's supposed to be a weird non-functional team mm. well, hence the asterisk in the name see my issue isn't like oh like Oh, look at all these. Like, my issue is it's heavily leaning on this is just Captain America and Black Widow, and then you got scrubs left over from Ant Man. Like, this was a funny yeah. moment because the like my wife texts me the thing, and she was like, Oh, what are these images? And I'm like, Oh, so she was home and she's looking at it. She goes, Who's the ghost stand for? And I look at yeah, her and I'm ghost. like, <laughs> yeah, I was literally like, <laughs> think about gone. this real hard. What's your two favorite MCU films? She goes, Ant Man one and two. I'm like, okay, now who was in the second film? And she looks at me, she goes, I don't know. I'm like, a ghost. And she goes, oh yeah. I was like, oh my God. So if she's <laughs> forgotten, there's no like, hope. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow, this is, this is telling to me. Like, she watches these films at least a couple times a year, those two. So I'm like, okay. Um, it's a weird team composition. I do hope that maybe they throw a couple curveballs in there. I mean, like, we know we're getting Sentry. Yeah, yeah, that's the Sentry one. Sentry is the curveball. He's going to uh, be right there. But hey, maybe which, there's another curveball. I don't know. Yeah, it could, there could be. Um, yeah. I'm hoping for, like, Bullseye's now in the MCU. Add Bullseye to the team, for the love of God. Like, just do it. Just do it. Just add him. He fits. He's been on Who's going to be out first, Born Again or Thunderbolts? Uh, it looks like they're actually going to overlap at the same time <laughs> with oh, release. Oh. So, yeah, That's unfortunate. Um, I was going to say if Born Again's first, then yeah, put Thunder put, um Bullseye in there. But I mean, hey, maybe Thunderbolts too, or whatever the asterisk is going to be, <laughs> whatever team they named up at the end. Watch them like. Watch them call it like Thunderbolts Dark Avengers or something, right? Like, it's gonna be something like that, yeah. <laughs> something to secure that. May we need a billion dollars from this film, toss the Avengers name in there. Because <laughs> I Which... wonder, is the asterisk there because plot reasons and that's actually what it's gonna be? Or mm. are they pulling um, an Agatha on everyone again? Oh yeah, because that make that, that stuff makes me die. Because every time I change, people are like, "Oh, they have no idea what they want this show to be." No, it's entirely intentional. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like see. They're that. changing the name to get you to talk about the show to keep it in the conversation without actually marketing the show. Yep, and it's working, so you can't exactly. blame them, right? <laughs> exactly. So, look, we'll talk about this more. Um, obviously, we're probably gonna get leaks and some sort of things this summer as the film was scheduled to come out this year which means that toy leads and everything are going to happen by the end of the year so we're going to have leaks and things so we'll definitely circle back around to this conversation soon